Good evening. Can you hear me at the back? Fantastic. Can I hear a big round of applause for each one of you? A very warm welcome to the celebration of human spirit. The third edition of the India Inclusion Summit is here. I was extremely fortunate last year to get an audience with the former president, one of the most iconic Indians, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, thanks to the efforts of yet another iconic person, Dr. Arun Shauri. I was fortunate to spend close to 30 minutes with him, talking to him about what the India Inclusion Summit is all about, the purpose behind it, the mission behind it. And then he said, Feroz, I will not be able to make it because I have an international travel. And then after five minutes, he went in and he came back and said, I've canceled my travels so that I can be part of the India Inclusion Summit. He couldn't make it in person because he fell ill two weeks before the event. He canceled all his appointments for a month and the only appointment he did was to give a video recorded message sitting on his garden on the seat. Ladies and gentlemen, the India Inclusion Summit is a reality because we have stood on the shoulders of giants. Giants like Dr. Kalam, giants like Arun Shauri sir, Giants like Kiran Bedi, like Ani Choyang, Siddharth, Joy Bhattacharya, Harsha Bogle, and many, many, many others. And each one of you in this room has played a part in making this event a reality. There are three things that I would like to very quickly share to put in perspective what does the India Inclusion Summit mean. One of the core beliefs when we started the event three years back was that this should be an event which is built, driven, owned, executed by the community. Not by any single individual, not by any single corporate, but this should be a community event. And the question we always asked was, when does the community come together? And the answer is very simple. When you have a purpose which is overarching, when you have people with passion, so in many ways it is three Ps coming together. People, passion and purpose. When these three things come together, communities come together to drive and make a difference. I've been a technologist and I've seen some of the greatest innovations that have happened in the last few years have been driven by communities. Where we build a platform so every end user can consume and build innovations on top of it. I believe that large scale changes in country like India can and will and should only be driven by communities. So the India Inclusion Summit, in effect, is your event. This is not our event. This is not my event. This is all of us coming together to make a dent in the universe. The second important aspect of the Inclusion Summit is about impact. Is it two days of celebration and we go back home and forget? We believe the measure of success of the India Inclusion Summit should be by the impact it creates. Now, what is an impact? And I'll give you two examples of what impact means. Tomorrow's event, by the way, is an event which is free for all. This is probably one of the biggest missions that we had, that we will create a world-class event at zero cost. And people said, Firoz, are you on drugs? This doesn't happen. Tomorrow's event is free for all. We have a capacity of 600 people. We closed registration last week at 800. We have 350 people who are on waiting list. And my inbox is flooding with requests. And I'll share what one person, Yoginder Sharma, wrote to me. He said, Feroz, I was supposed to go to Hyderabad. I heard about the summit. 
I've canceled my flight, flight tickets. I am on wait listed. Can I come for the event and I'm ready to sit on the floor and get my own sandwich? They want to be part of the India Inclusion Summit. And the interesting thing is we haven't done a single bit of marketing. Have you ever seen an ad about India Inclusion Summit on the newspaper? Anybody here? We haven't done anything. It is by word of mouth, it is goodwill, it is volunteers tweeting and writing blogs that is getting us this overwhelming response. Today's evening is about raising funds and I'm sure all of you have contributed your part and I want to thank you all for not just being here but contributing to the cause of disability. We had a capacity of 280 people. We got 315 people who sent us checks. And today we had to send back many of the checks saying, sorry, we can't accommodate. That's one way to show the impact of the India Inclusion Summit. But that's from an event perspective. I was extremely fortunate to spend 30 minutes with Ani Choyang for breakfast today. And she'll be performing tomorrow. She's an amazing singer, sang with Yara Rahman. If you haven't heard her, go and listen to her Coke Studio video. Outstanding performer, flew all the way from Nepal to be with us. And then he said, Feroz, what you've created is a modern day satsang. We are here because we want to be at the feet of the masters. What you would see in the next two days on stage are masters in their own field. One of the girls wrote to us, we do a very simple thing, when you register, you have to enter a field which says, why do you want to attend the India Inclusion Summit? That's the only thing we ask other than your name and other details. Why do you want to attend the India Inclusion Summit? And we get such amazing feedback and response. This lady, Srilata, she said, Feroz, after attending the India Inclusion Summit, I was moved. However, I don't want to end my responsibilities by thanking the India Inclusion Summit. I actually want to act. I want to do something. That, I believe, is the impact that a platform like India Inclusion Summit is creating. What is a big dream? What is it that we want to achieve? We want to build an inclusive India. An inclusive India where a person on wheelchair is treated the same way as a person wearing specs. Why should it be any different? Where a person with disabilities get an admission into school, get a job, irrespective of what his abilities or what his disabilities are, but focusing only on their abilities. That's the dream of building an inclusive India. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope when the history of an inclusive India is written, the India Inclusion Summit would have played a tiny little role. I want to conclude by just one sentence. This ability, this is not disability, this THIS, this ability is not disability. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the next two days with us here.